Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emma Mama, if you're new here. And on my channel, I love to do shopping hauls, particularly Dollar Tree hauls and grocery hauls or any hauls. As of right now, I'm really into Dollar Tree. Um, product tests and reviews, DIYs, things like that. So if you're into that type of thing, don't be shy, hit that subscribe button and you can stay tuned with all my craziness. So today I have a little Dollar Tree haul and then if you wait till the end, I'm gonna show you some products that I will not buy again from the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's get into it. Some bags. Didn't bring my reusable bags. Just this. Okay, first up. All right. I already opened these. Does this count? I don't care. The almondette cookies. I just tried these for the first time recently and I love them. They're so good with some coffee. They're, if you like almond flavor, like, uh, what's that brand? Stella Doro or some, you know what I mean? Like the almond cookies. They're, I'll just take one out since it's already open. They're pretty, they're a decent sized cookie. And then it comes a lot in a pack actually. I don't know how healthy they are and I really don't care when you're reaching for a cookie who's really looking at anything like that. They're good. Have a couple with your coffee, at least that's what I do. The kids love them too. They're not too sweet. They're just, they're just right. That's that. All right, what's next? Picked up this Lavoris uh, Whitening Mouthwatch. Watch, wash. Yeah, uh, how many ounces? 18 ounces. And I just ran out of my, I usually buy, I think, the Crest 3D White uh, mouthwash and I said you know what let me try this because I think some I think I've heard good reviews I don't know about this one but like the cinnamon flavor and I think this brand has been around a long time even though I don't I don't know maybe I just never paid attention but I think it I think I've read good reviews and I think it costs like you know way more than a dollar so I'm gonna try this one out and I'll let you know how it works yeah Lavoris there's a few different flavors all right next bag what do I got here? Okay, picked up right away. I see this guy popping out. Picked up this. Oh, I got my hair. Oh my God. Um, giraffe, giraffe wall decal. There's part of him and here's the other part of him. I just thought he was so cute for, I don't know, maybe one of my kids. I can't stop with these wall decals. I just can't. They're so cute. They just keep coming out with more and more adorable characters and themes and sayings i just put one up in my um in my kitchen maybe i should take a little picture of that at the end yeah they're cute and they're big it's like that silver black and white really really cute for the giraffe lovers out there okay going with the animal theme <laughs> they wrap this up i found the bank i found the porcupine bank or whatever hedgehog i don't know i don't know yeah, I'm just going with porcupine. And it's got like a little, it almost looks like a party hat or something. So, so cute. I went with the gold. They had the silver too. They had the ducks. They had the elephant. I don't know why I didn't pick up the elephant. Why didn't I? I mean, I don't need these things. Maybe that's why. But got this one for my daughter. So cute, right? Finally found them. And I, this is the first time I've seen it. I haven't seen them at all my Dollar Trees. So that, I was happy about that. All right, what's next, what's next? Okay, pick this up for my daughter. She already opened it, so I'm sorry. A lot of things have been teared into. I, I got these things a few days ago. Um, this is the Sassy and Chic Eyelash Curler. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. She didn't use it yet. She just opened it, but yep, there's that. A buck, I'll see how it is. I love to curl my lashes. I picked up, even though, I don't know actually if you've seen my tutorial, well not really a tutorial, I just showed my mirror, my mirror that I recently made and I kind of explained what I did. So I picked up another one of these mirrors just to have on hand in case one gets damaged, in case, I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, I, I don't want to give you a glare, but this is the mirror, it's an 8x10. And yeah, I'll link my, um, my mirror tutorial, I, I don't know why I keep calling it a tutorial, I didn't make it on screen. but. I'll link that video. Got the mirror. Got another one of these signs, guys. This one says, home is where the beach is. And this is going to somebody special. My best friend just moved far away from me, near a beach. So this is coming her way. 
It's so pretty. It's got like the blue and you know, beachy colors, sea foam colors, little starfish, so cute. And then it has, um, again, the twine to hang. I love these ones. I hope I can continue finding them. I hope they make more. They're so cute. All right. Got some glue sticks. Yeah, I won't buy them anywhere else now. So they carry them, I get them. I glue, you know, I do hot glue on a lot of little random things. Little repairs, little DIYs. Next up, it's not a lot of stuff. It's my last bag. And yes, I know this isn't exciting at all, but got two of the, what brand is this? Tissues, I got the tissues. I don't know, why did I think it was called Mega? I don't know what brand this actually is, but it's the 200 count two ply. They're not that soft, but I use them a lot of times to clean things up or I keep one in the bathroom to clean the sink. I'm not really necessarily just blowing our noses. I know that's gross guys, but yeah, two of those. Mm, more cookies, more almond cookies actually. This is the mini biscotti, biscotti. Um, the almond hazelnut cantuccini. They're small, they're the small ones. And again, I just like to pick up little things like this to have with coffee and at that time of day, like three o'clock, four o'clock, even like, you know, the afternoon. You just want something sweet. That's when I have my coffee. Delicious. These are a 2.96 ounce box. Not too many, but it's cute. Love them. And I haven't been seeing them that often. So when I find the little cookies like that, I grab them. Why not? Okay. I picked up more of this super glue foam mounting tape and I just used up in my video that I'm going to link again. This is how I attach them to my wall, the, the mirrors right behind me. And they, they hold really well. I mean, obviously my mirrors are still in place and I've used them on other little projects and they are very, very sticky. You know what? I'm actually like, I don't know if I ever want to take down this mirror. I hope it doesn't peel my paint off, but I'm not taking it down anytime soon. I love it, but I know for sure they're going to stay put. So I got more of these. They're perfect to have around the house, you know, little projects. Okay, got more sassy and chic fashion nails. They're like pink and silver, and I really need to put on some nails. My nails are horrible, please don't look. <laughs> I'm ashamed, I keep biting them. All right, so I got these, and I will use my super glue. I just use a little dot. I don't use a ton, I don't use like all over my nail, a tiny dot, really? Yeah, it makes them last for like five days, minimum. Got those, okay. My last product, I think, before I get into my products that I don't like, I picked up these, this is by the Essentials brand, um, Jumbo Plastic Clothespins. And actually, you know what I like to use these for? When, well, my kids are always, my little, my son, he's always pulling the towels down when I'm trying to dry them in the bathroom, always pulling them down and wash, you know, dry his hands if there's no hand towels or anything. And yeah, so I like to clip these on the towel bar. Little glimpse into my life, guys. I know it's nothing that exciting, but yeah, so this does the job. Or to hang, you know, clothes or whatever. They're thick. They hold, they're not like little, the little clothespins. They're thick. Or hold them, you know, use them as chip clips. Comes how many? Six in a pack. Bam. Oh no, I have one more product. I picked up another Bonnebel, Bonnebel or Bonnebel? I think it's Bonnie Bell, at least how I usually would pronounce it. Um, so far, I've really loved the products that I've been finding by this brand at the Dollar Tree. And I used to use this brand, you know, when I was younger, like the lip gloss, or I've never seen the whole line of beauty products. So maybe they've been at Walmart or somewhere I haven't really been shopping at, I don't know. Um, so this is the brow pencil. And yeah, just to throw in my bag, I have a lot of brow products, but Throw another one in there. This doesn't really specify the color, which would have helped, but you can see it's like a brown, a dark brown. My eyebrows are dark brown, so I don't think I could fail that bad with that one. All right, that's the end of my haul. Now, I just wanna get into, I've recently purchased a few products that I was really not happy with, and I don't like to be like a downer, or oh, I hate this product, I hate this product. No, like, I'm gonna give you my honest feedback when I'm not happy with something. So, I have a few things I'll show you. All right, these Wet n Wild um, eyelashes. I never even got to the eyelashes um, on my other 
this is the second box. I bought two boxes, I guess, you know, a while back when I saw them and I got excited and I just picked up two. So recently I went to go wear a pair and the glue was completely, completely dry. I couldn't squeeze it out at all. So that right there is a no-go. If it's going to say lash um, glue included, I expect the lash glue to work, you know? I mean, again, I know this is wet and wild and it's, you know, it's on the very cheap end brand of makeup and I don't expect miracles, but I expect the glue to at least come out of the tube. So that, eh, not buying it again, not. I'm actually considering getting um, eyelash extensions. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, back to eyelashes, never again. And again, this is by the Wet n Wild uh, brand. This is the Mega Wear Mascara. And I know this is gonna be my, you know, my favorite like Lancome brand. It's never gonna be that. And I know that, I know I'm paying a dollar. I know it's cheap. But the second you put it on your eyelashes, you think they're dry, uh, you know, a minute later, you look up, you look left, wherever. It's like so wet. The formula is too wet. It just gets all over the place, ruins your makeup. So garbage, nope, never again. Again, beauty product. I recently hauled this. Sorry, I mean, I cleaned it, but you know, the stains don't really come out. Um, this beauty blender. And I don't know if it's just because I'm not like a beauty blender type of girl. Like if I'm gonna use to put on concealer, I'm either gonna use a brush or like a makeup sponge. This, I don't know, it just really, I hated it. I know that you have to dampen it and I did and I tried it a couple times just to get a good feel if I liked it or not. I did not like it and this is just my opinion. You guys may, it may work for you. For me, it didn't. And again, it could be my foundation. I felt like it was totally wasting my foundation. It was sucking it all up and I just kept putting more and more and more and I'm not wasting my foundation on this sponge. Sorry, nope, done. All right, I know, a little TMI, but it was that time of the month. I'm a woman, I'm obviously, yeah, I have kids. Um, that time of the month and I needed a heat patch. Like, you know, just cramps, whatever, you want some heat. And, or if you have an injury or your back hurts, wherever, you sometimes need a hot patch. So which one was it? It was, okay, this one. This does say, am I crazy? This does say hot patch, right? Yes, this is a two pack. And I put it on and immediately I felt like that menthol cooling kind of sensation, but the heat never came. I was waiting and waiting and I'm like, where's the heat? So totally crap in my opinion, I'm sorry. I hate to be negative. I hate to be negative about anything really. I'm very, try to be a positive person. I just hated these. So next day, I was at the Dollar Tree for something else, which, you know, I'm always at the Dollar Tree, it's a problem. <laughs> and I picked up this one, which I was very happy with. This is the Air Activated Heat Wrap, one in a pack. So, I don't know. I don't know why one worked and when the other one, other one didn't work. They both say hot patch. They both say heat on it. I don't know. Never felt the heat with the other one. This one worked. This is the one count, okay? All right, last up, this is a food item. This is the, and I know it's totally empty because around my house, it went fast, even though I didn't like it. So the reason I'll explain it. This is the Greenbrier Homestyle Select Nacho Cheese Tortilla chip, Chips. And I guess you could kind of compare them to a Doritos. For me, I don't know what it was. It ripped up my tongue. I don't know if it was like the spices or too much salt. It literally like cut my tongue. I can't really explain it. It like gave me like a sore on my tongue from, I don't know what. I. I don't know, it was a problem. And I really can't pinpoint it because I don't know which ingredient did it. But needless to say, I won't be buying these again. If I want some nacho cheese chips, I'll get Doritos or you know, maybe I'll try the Aldi brand or something. I don't know, it was a flop. So yes, that's all guys for today. And let me know if you wanna see anything, you want me to try out a product, I'm really open to that, I don't mind spending the dollar at Dollar Tree or whatever it is, a couple dollars to try things out and let you know. Um, yeah, let me know if there's any ideas you have that you wanna see me do on a video and I would love to do it for you. So thank you so much for watching. Again, hit that subscribe, hit that like, give me a comment, I always respond. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for this far for sticking with me and I'll see you guys soon. Gonna be doing a video shortly. You'll see me probably every couple of days. All right, bye.